It's 10 p.m. on Monday, the 15th of January, 2024. I'm waiting on a message from one of my friends in Melbourne to see if I get the opportunity to paint shoes for a certain Sidemen member. See, I live two hours away from Melbourne, right? And I have to go to the city today, um, tomorrow to give some shoes to a shoe shop. And then Wednesday, which is the day after, Toby leaves to go to Sydney. So I'm on a time crunch here. So like my brain is thinking a thousand miles an hour right now, trying to figure out what the hell I can do to get ready like for this message. Cause I don't know if it's gonna say yes or no. I feel like Danny Aaron's right now in my neck. I have to crash down so I fit in the frame. Stress is real. So I'm in Melbourne now. I just dropped shoes off to throwback store and I, Yes, the Toby thing is going ahead. I have no clue what size he is. We, his manager's not getting back to us right now, so we don't know. It is going ahead. So I'm gonna get the shoes now and then go home back two hours. And I'm gonna paint them. I'm gonna come back down to Melbourne tomorrow and fingers crossed getting the shoes. All right, so it's 2.08 p.m. And my train to Bendigo was supposed to leave two minutes ago. And I missed it. This is gonna be a long day. So I bought Rebels. You guys have no idea how much traveling to Melbourne takes the life out the of The first me. thing I did was prep the shoes and take the tabs off the back of the Air Maxes. I'll show you why now. I have decided I'm gonna put that on instead. I'm gonna get some leather, put that onto the leather, and then put that on the back just to make them a bit more unique. Obviously, Toby loves football and shit, so you know, let's. This was the color palette I decided to use for the shoes. No Toby loves wearing black and blue things, so I thought I'd mix all the colors together. After I sprayed the swishes a light blue, I taped them up and then sprayed all over the shoe this regular blue. I'm an absolute mess. I am so tired. I'm starting to let it all get in my head. Uh, I'm very happy. This is like an hour of work. I've taped up the swooshes, done them as well. So I'll, I'm gonna go have a shower, refresh, and then come out here and smash them out for like the next four or five hours. See what happens. Before I went and refreshed, the first thing I did was set some stencils to get cut out on my vinyl cutter. And when I came back, they were all done. So I spent an hour putting them all over the shoe, which took way too long. It's 1 a.m. and I just got done putting the stencils on. I now have a time frame. I have to be in the city. No, I have to... I have to leave here at 5 a.m. It's 1 a.m. So I've got four hours to get these done. I started spraying all of the shoe where the stencils were a navy blue, so it contrasted. I'm gonna put on, no, I'm gonna spray one color. And then I'm gonna put on the stencils and then spray that. And then the only thing to do after that, oh my God, not the only thing, I still need to dye a lot of it gray. And then I can do the Sidemen Football Club logo, Jesus. I'm losing my mind over here. I think I'm just gonna leave it as the Sidemen Football Club logo, which I was gonna put on the back. I told you about that. That's just if I get time. Oh, uh, yeah. I wanted to make these be inspired by Toby's brand, Ill Vision, because I saw a video of him saying how he didn't have any Ill Vision like on his feet and stuff. So that was the whole like inspiration behind these. So I did navy blue on top and then I sprayed black over the top of that, you know? So it was a nice little contrasting type thing. Okay, so the next three or so hours, I didn't get a chance to really film anything. I just wanted to get them done. So at five o'clock, this is how they were looking all finished. 
I ended up doing the back Sidemen logo and I really think it brought the whole shoe together. Okay, don't mind the Fortnite clip for a second, but I just want to talk about what happened afterwards. Guys, literally 10 minutes after I finished the shoes, I had to go and ride my bike 30 minutes to a train station to catch a train at 5.30 a.m. And a lot happened on there, but I managed to get two hours of sleep on the train. What's the time? I'm in Melbourne now, I left at about 5am and I go to 7.30 and I've been sitting in Starbucks the last two hours, yep, it's tough not being able to be in control of a situation, you know, like I currently have no clue where he's staying or anything. Like, I was all relying on one or two people. And I think they're both asleep, so. What a day. I lost all my bank cards. I found them again, though. Like, like 200 kilometers that way. Anyway. Um, what else? Oh, yes. I ruined the box of the shoes with a Red Bull by accident. Uh, Best the can, didn't mean it, but yeah. Time is really running out. It's probably like an hour max until they leave for the airport. I swear to God, literally five minutes after I filmed that, I got a message from the guy who set it all up for me saying to meet them at the airport. He was like, I'll buy an Uber, but I just wanted to get there as quick as possible. So I spent $60 on an Uber in this weather to go to the airport. So I'm actually at the Melbourne airport right now. <laughs> um, we're apparently meeting him here. Fingers crossed. Uh, I can just hope now, I can't really do much else. So we missed him at the airport. We were there for about three hours and they ended up taking Jetstar, not Qantas. So we got told the wrong lounge. I've given my boy the shoes cause he lives in Melbourne. And today was a disaster, so he's gonna give them to one of my mates who's going to Sydney and is 100% doing shit with Toby. Oh, wow. So it's been a week. It's Thursday the 25th now, so it's been over a week, actually. <laughs> uh, wow. I, uh, okay, let me run you through everything that's happened since Wednesday, right? So obviously the last clip you saw was my boy Logan uh, taking the shoes off me because he lives in Melbourne. So he could give them to the guy that set this all up. His name is Oli, absolute king. Um, and yeah, what happened after that? So... I fell asleep on the train home, but when I woke up, Ollie had got the shoes. So that's how quick, that's how quick Logan was to give Ollie the shoes. Ollie left for Sydney on Friday, I think. In Sydney, I'm not really sure what happened. He, first of all, he said he was getting there on Friday and would give them to him. And then I messaged him Friday. He's like, no, uh, I'm arriving tomorrow now. I'll give them to him tomorrow. So I was like glued to my phone the whole day waiting for like a photo of Toby with the shoes or a message from Ollie and shit. I didn't get one. Um, and then Sunday, that's when a lot more happened. Wait no, Saturday was, Toby had like a pop-up shop. And then Sunday, uh, I know Toby went to Caramel Sundays, which is like a club in Sydney. Um, and Ollie was there. But I don't know what happened, but for some reason Ollie didn't give him the shoes there. Uh, and then Monday I messaged him and he said he was going to give them to him today and he didn't, I'm not, I, I have no clue what really happened in Sydney to be honest. Uh, and then Tuesday Ollie came back to Melbourne and I messaged him, asked him what's happened and he's like, I gave him to my boy in Sydney who's going to give him to Toby. And I, I don't know, my brain like started overthinking. I was like, 
what has happened? Why can't he give Toby the shoes, all this stuff? Because like Ollie's really close with Toby's manager and stuff. Um, so I was messaging him about 11 and then I checked like my message requests on Instagram like every night. And I saw one at about 11.30 on Tuesday night and it was from Toby's manager. And it said seven words. That's all I got, seven words. It was, it said, what did it say? It said something along the lines of Toby loves the shoes, he appreciates it a lot or something. And that was all I got. So I learned a lot of lessons from uh, this last week. At least I know Toby has the shoes. I hope you liked watching the video, watching like the whole process of me trying to get these done before he left for Sydney and then trying to, yeah, make this work. Um, so I'm glad I got the shoes. Just a bit devastated I didn't get the chance to meet him or didn't actually get like a photo with him with the shoes or anything. But things happen. There's nothing I can really do about it. I'm not big and famous yet. So if you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe and yeah.